I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to speak to you about two scriptures which I know off by heart, and I'm sure you do as well. Two very well-known scriptures in the Bible. The first one is found in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8 and verse 10. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy. Now, that's not a funny ha-ha type of joy. No, no, it's a deep joy. Sometimes even when you're in a state of mourning or you're in a state when you have just been given a terrible um, a message, a sad message, you can still have a deep knowing in your spirit, a deep joy that Christ is still in control. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And the other scripture which complements that is John chapter 10 and verse 10. And the last half of the verse, the Lord says very clearly, I came that you might have life and that you might have it abundantly. The Lord wants you and me to have abundant life. He doesn't want us just to exist. He wants us to live. We need to do it. But you have the choice. And I have the choice. Not God. It's our choice. The choice this morning is to make a very, very serious decision. Are we going to allow the devil to steal our joy? Now, you've got to make a decision. Are we going to take his nonsense or are we going to live a life of abundance as the Lord Jesus Christ meant us to? The choice is ours, not the devil's. It's our choice. We're not speaking here about material things. We are talking here about spiritual and mental issues. Mark 8.36 says, What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? And he loses his soul. You can't buy joy. You can't earn joy. No. You can only find joy in the presence of God. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. How many content people do you know these days? Not many, exactly. You know, the other day, our daughter and her husband brought a little gift home to Jill and myself. And they came in with a little miniature dog, a puppy. I couldn't believe it was so small. This little, <laughs> this little miniature dog has become a miniature tornado. That's all I can say. You talk about living life abundantly. This little puppy is living life to the absolute maximum redlining all the time. She's not concerned about tomorrow. She just lives for today. She runs everywhere. She bites everything. She looks at everything. She jumps off every step she can find. She cries first and then takes a running jump. <laughs> okay, she eats everything and then she goes and lies down on a blanket and she just sleeps for a solid hour. She doesn't move. Anybody can walk past that. It means nothing. When she wakes up, she starts all over again. She is living life. And I looked at this and I thought, you know, Lord, that's how you want us to live. You want us to enjoy life. You want us to take the advantages that we have. You want us to be your children who trust in their God unconditionally. That's what brings joy. You know, for us to live is Christ and to die is but gain. Paul said that. And I think he said that you'll find in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. For me to live is Christ, to die is but gain. You can't frighten a Christian with heaven. <laughs> Let's start enjoying life, folks, because maybe tomorrow the Lord will take us home. God bless you and goodbye.